Getty Mason Crane is being lined up for his test debut with the Ashes gone. Leg spinner Crane, 20, could be handed a start if England decide to beef up spin options and go with three seamers. Craig Overton will miss out as a result of his cracked rib, but the fast bowler will remain with the squad and make an effort to be fit for the final test in Sydney. England will take a look at the pitch before deciding on the bowling lineup with Mark Wood and Tom Curran also pushing for Overton's place if Trevor Bayliss and Joe Root decide the pitch is not going to offer enough to the slow bowlers. But Crane is right at the front of the queue. It would be a big ask for Crane given the size of the occasion and owing to the fact that his returns on tour so far have not exactly been eye-catching, with six wickets in three tour matches against Cricket Australia size costing over 67 each. There would, though, be a degree of logic in challenging the Australian batsmen with something they have not yet faced given how hard work it has been for the seamers. Tuesday, November 14, 2017, the England cricket team tried their hand at paintballing in Townsville. V.E. always been taught to fight through things, and that's what I've had to do but it's obviously quite sore and is not the ideal thing to get. The spinner rose to the occasion when plucked out of a winter placement in grade cricket in Sydney. In March this year representing New South Wales in Sheffield Shield match against South Australia, the first overseas player to represent the state side since Imran Khan in 1985, in that match his returns were on the expensive side 27.2 overs going for 116 but his five wickets were crucial in helping NSW to an eight-wicket win. And he impressed several good judges including two former Australian test players who were instrumental in his call-up, Trevor Chappell coach of his grade side and Jeff Lawson was NSW assistant coach. Crane's selection would be a nod to the ongoing struggles of Moeen Ali as a bowler on this tour. And it is thought his inclusion might help the all-rounder, who is known to feel pressure when he carries front-line bowling duties. Stuart Broad will also be monitored in the build-up to Melbourne after admitting he was struggling with a left knee niggle prior to Perth. His form has been poor so far this tour with his pace down and his returns of 0-1-4-2 in Australia's innings at the WACA the worst of his career. Overton has been one of the success stories from the second and third tests and will stick around with the squad with the hope of being fit for the SCG despite medical staff making gloomy noises about Melbourne. The injury is thought to originate from the blow on his left side received when batting against Josh Hazelwood in Adelaide. But it got significantly worse when he attempted to pull off what would have been a top-quality catch-off diving to his left his own bowling on day two in Perth. While he said the lure of one of the biggest tests in an England player's international career would be hard to miss, he will not want to miss out on the tour to New Zealand by making it worse. He said, I've always been taught to fight through things, and that's what I've had to do but it's obviously quite sore and is not the ideal thing to get. Obviously I got hit last week but it was fine, and in the build-up. To the game in Perth, I was bowling fine in the nets with no painkillers, nothing which is why we weren't worried about it, but then I went for the court and bowled and landed on it and we think that's when I did it. There is quite a lot of swelling in it so we've been dealing with that. It's a hairline fracture at the minute but it could have made it worse, or punctured a lung or something the doc said.